got a little house repair project today. This is for you, Ryan. I'm going to um, jack up the house and put these pier blocks under one side of it because the loads of console TVs that are stashed inside are causing it to sink, and I'll show you that. This is an old house, 1914 is when it was registered, but it's probably from the 18-somethings, because I, I, I look on the topo map and I see it. I see the building uh, on the 1890s topo map. So, um, yeah, I'll show you the, uh, I'll show you the sinkage. And this is, this is, uh, some piers I put under it when I first, uh, first kind of got it stabilized. If you have a look at the toilet, because the toilet is sitting on the flange, um, you can see that we have probably about two inches, an inch and a half to two inches of sinkage here. Uh, the toilet's literally just floating there. This house is mostly just used for storage now. Not, not really. You can also see right there with the rust gap how much this thing has sunk down. Nice old 1800 super deep clawfoot bathtub. Think the water police would allow anything like this today? Let me first explain how this house is constructed because when I tell most people, they don't believe it. There are no 2x4s in the exterior walls of this house. There is no framing in this house. It is simply 1x12s stacked vertically. You can see them there. This is one 1x12. One this is another 1x12. One this is another 1x12. One this is another 1x12. With the siding on the outside of it, the, the cedar or uh, redwood siding. So the wall from the outside here to the inside of the house is about an inch and a half, two inches thick. There's no air gap, there's no two by fours. It's simply one by twelves nailed along the bottom, and then one by twelves nailed along the top. So that you can actually flex flex these walls. Which it survived every earthquake uh, so far because it's so flexible. There's nothing rigid to break and crack. And originally it was sitting on just a 2x4 frame, like a 2x4 box that was all rotted away. I could show you that in the middle, going down, running down the middle of the house. I'm gonna. I got my 250 watt mercury vapor light here I put together. I'm going to use under there. This is good and bright. Hear the termites? See, these always make cool colors when you first turn them on. Of course, the camera's not going to show it, but whatever. Alright, so right there is the toilet, and that over there is the vent pipe. And here's the water line for the toilet. And you can see how it's just pretty much sitting here on wood. And this is the problem. This is what it was originally. Uh, sitting on. It was just sitting on no cement at all. No cement foundation. It was simply sitting on a 2x4 wood framed box. And a 
of course, there was, this is one of the, boy man, those termites, I, if I'm gonna, this, I gotta have this tinted. There's, uh, sounds like a, termites are just in this place like nothing else. That's that noise. Anyway, um, so this is a prime example right here of what the problem is. Uh, this is jeez, it's infested. Uh, you can see this is, it's not, it's not touching. I'll try to get this so I can, this camera doesn't have uh, stabilization, so it's very, very gonna. Jeez. All right. So you can see this is just hanging here. I mean, there's nothing here. Boy, the termites really get going when I do that. So this is this is what the problem is. This is why it's sinking. And, you know, this is another one. There's just nothing there because the board along the bottom is just gone. Anyway, I'm just running time out here. Now it's hard to see, but check this out. This is, well, that was the original plate that this thing was sitting on. Two by six, hundred years ago. All right, here's what I'm doing. I got the bottle jack there. I got the the block in place. I got a big thick piece of steel there to keep it from pushing into the wood and I'm just cranking up on it slowly and then I'll measure it and go from there. Cut a piece of wood. Alright, I've got that one in down there. Not totally all the way yet, but uh, I'm gonna stagger big block and small block so I pulled all of this out and I'm uh, Lifting it up here, you can. This is a big jack. I don't know how many tons this is. 20 tons? You can hear the wood crackling, and I think it's actually breaking right there. I don't want to. What I'm doing is I'm going up, then I'm measuring it, then I'm putting a piece of wood in, then I'll go back over it. I'll probably have to cut this three or four times before I get it up to where I want. I guess I should go in and check the toilet and see. I don't know if this jack is holding the pressure or not. It's hard to tell. Oh. Slow down. Yes, the East End boys and West End girls. So much for that. This is putting an incredible amount of pressure on this. I actually split this board 
here which doesn't really matter because it's not sitting on anything but um, yeah who thought lifting up a house would require a lot of uh, a lot of pressure imagine that got a piece of 2 by 6 in here I think I might have gone a little bit too far because the doors are binding on the inside but I need to go up a little bit more over there this is a puzzle to try and get this right check this little u-shaped tunnel out here right here there was there was a 4x4 four four pressed up against that a modern 4x4 four four that I had put in here some years ago and the termites had absolutely no use for the old wood they won't eat this old old growth wood but they tunneled through it get back here they tunneled all this out they tunneled through it to eat that modern 4x4 four four. that's why you got to use either pressure treated wood or what I've been doing with this stuff is I dip it I dip the uh, wood and used motor oil before I I install it that'll uh, slow them down for a few years hopefully I, I didn't I didn't get any of the pressure treated lumber they were out of it the ones I needed so pretty interesting stuff I'm actually lifting the whole side of the house up because a lot of these blocks aren't even they aren't even touching anymore they're just free floating we'll have to give it a, a little while to kind of settle down Too high to get over, too low to get under. That describes this operation under here really well. Alright, getting all this stuff screwed together just in case there is an earthquake, you know. It'll probably still fold over and the house will end up going down the street, but I'll, I'll do my part. Alright, let's take a look at this. Got one down there, new one there, new one here, new one there, redid that one there, so it's tight, redid that one so it's tight, got to redo that one, that's it, I'm done. This is too tight of a fit, very few people could even fit under here, and uh, after six hours, seven hours, I'm done. This is all the modern wood I pulled out. And I've seen a couple live ones. You can see how they... Just like a router. They groove it out just like a router. That's why if you put oil and they start where the pieces of wood mate. See this piece of wood here was mated with this piece of wood like that. And they get in between it and that's how they that's how they get pressure to bore into the wood. They're in here. I know they're in here. I just saw a couple of them. Look at this. Right here. It's like someone took a router. Just cut it out. House needs to be tented. These bugs just... Look at that. Bugs just destroy it. This wood's been in there five years, something like that.
take this back to the saw and cut it up and see if I can chase one out. Here we go. I just split this open and I saw one in here. They run and hide as soon as you... They look like little white ants, little clear white worm looking ant things. There it is, right there. That's a termite. Maybe I should get the magnifying glass and have a little fun with it. Yeah, that's what they look like. This wasn't the reason why I did this. Uh, done. Into the line. Oh, there's another one. See ya. Here's an ant. Anyway, that's what termite does to your house right there. Kind of just routes it out. This was a 2x4 at one time. So the toilet's pretty much stabilized now. I need to bolt it down and you can see that that's gone while well, the floors come up. The pipe hasn't gone down. The pipe stays stationary. But um, again, to recap, this this uh, project was not about termites. The project was about um, the house was sinking, and I had gone in there and braced it up w without using the pier blocks probably four or five years ago, and uh, <clears throat> the weight. Uh, of all the stuff stored in here, TVs and stuff has kind of been causing it to sink. And since we're expecting kind of a pretty brutal winter, uh, which could possibly be an understatement since it's rained, been raining the last three days in the middle of July, um, hopefully those pier blocks will kind of support things and uh, hold it up a little bit stronger uh... have a TV video to do tomorrow so this is just a quick uh, show and tell and share project